No, no, no. Oh, I just used steroids and accidentally. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Nestor Alpha 18. As you guys can see we have the bird's nest all the way up now, we just need to upgrade still. And I also repaired most of the damage over here, we just need to make all of this steel. And then put the next blocks in and make them steel as well from the next horde. Now what I also went and did was I made the days 40 minutes long instead of 30. And that's just going to allow us to get 7 more minutes uh, each day of looting in. And then the hordes are going to be 2.5 minutes longer. So instead of 7 minutes something, it's now going to be 10 minutes per horde. So the horde time went up, which means we need to make sure we have enough steel, enough everything ready for this next horde. Now I just want to see over here. Should probably be putting these things in over here. Um, okay, so with that we can make more steel over here. As you guys can see, we have a ton of steel. I wonder if I should just quickly, with while we have the steel, upgrade a little bit up top. And then I need to go do those quests, because as you guys are aware... Okay, there's more play in Yeah, I wonder if I should put some iron in there as well. Um, as you guys are aware, we need to do those quests and get coins so we can go into the uh, wasteland area and get as many of those resources as possible. Okay, so, uh, iron over here. We need to break down some demon gates and then also... Ooh, I need to go mining again. Uh, break down demon gates for some resources and then also we need to find the Caitlyn trader and find a laser workbench. Hopefully she has one, um, otherwise we're going to be a little bit screwed, but that's fine. Okay, so these are cooking in some iron. The middle ones, however, have a ton of clay. Okay, this one has a ton of clay. So I wonder if I shouldn't put most of the iron in here then. Just so I know this is cooking in. And then I'll leave the third one for now. I should really be cooking in some iron as, as there as well. But since we know for a fact that that one doesn't have clay in yet, there's no point. It's going to take too long to smelt all that stuff in. So for now what we can do is this, and then this should be enough to get stuff going later on. Okay, we have some sand cooking over here. That's just for all the concrete mix we have. And also, I already min uh, modded the minibike. So now it's modded with turbo and storage. Um, it actually went from 1k gas to 2.5k uh, gas. So there's definitely a difference there. And then also, these super corn are nearing the end stage of growing. So every now and then, I just need to make sure that the water is still in here. But most of these plants are growing nicely. It seems like the rest of the plants are also growing, which I hope is the case. Uh, it's going to suck if for some reason they're not growing and then we have a problem with those crops. Um, and remember, super corn can grow underground, the rest can't actually. Uh, but for now, it looks like it's actually growing, so I'm not going to mess around with that too much. Where's this pillar? It's in front. Okay, that one's broken, so we need to fix it. But I also want to do this. Uh, let's just do that. I just want to make this steel because this is where most of the zombies fall as well. It doesn't have to be all the way, just enough so that if the zombies hit over here, they don't destroy these blocks. Later on, obviously, I want to get this whole pathway over here to steel, but for now, what I want to focus on is all the blocks that are open over here needs to be steel. That should ensure that as soon as I place blocks on top and make them steel as well, this is tough enough to hold up or stand up against the zombies. Now, this is actually a little bit deep. I should have actually just placed this in and made the first two levels steel. So as you guys can see, we go through steel really, really fast, unfortunately. But I do need to make this whole platform steel before the next order. I just hope I have the chance. Also, I noticed I said I want to put plates over here so that the, the cops and stuff can't see me from over there. They need to see me from over in the front. But obviously, I forgot about that, and now I have a little bit of a problem. It's not a massive issue. But it still does suck that the zombies can see me from the sides now. I want to limit their field of view so they don't really come for me that often or that easily. Okay, do I have one more? Do I have wood on me? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to make one more bar over here. Wait, where? Bar. Wooden bars. I didn't notice that this piece over here was broken out. Okay, so literally you just copy the rotation of this one. Put it in next to it. And then while we're here, quickly make that iron. Okay, so these are not iron yet. The sooner this whole cage is iron, the better for us. And also, this is already full high now, so we just need to put the roof on this, which is going to be rather easy. Now guys, I noticed that during the last horde, the zombies did start to dig down again, uh, to dig into the base. That usually happens when the full damage is too high. Like for example, these blocks are too high, so the full causes them damage. 
Um, unlike the first horde where they really did a, a number on a base, um, remember with that one, they started digging because I was still underground. And the stairs weren't done completely. But now that the stairs are done, most of them are going where they're supposed to go. Uh, they're going for the steps and that's it. But if they take enough fall damage from the walkway over here, they do start to go for the base instead of the stairs. So I think, I'm going to test the one more ward and see if they start digging again. If they start digging into the side of the base again, what I'm going to do then is just add some half blocks on top. Not a full block, just half blocks on top. So it takes a little bit of that full damage away. We don't want to make it too short um, or too low and then, rather too high and then they can actually hit these walkways. They're not allowed to touch these walkways at all. Okay, so for now, just to save time, I'm going to put these in there. And these over here. Okay, that should be it for now. The hazmat suit I'm going to keep on me. Oh no, we're not going into the... I wonder. I need to make sure of this now first. Okay, we're going to do these quests over here. We should technically do this one as well because it's also one of the clear quests. I wonder if that's the hospital. I know there is a hospital with one of these. Hospital, where is this one? It's up there. Okay, I wonder what this one is then. It doesn't say, does it? This one is a fetch. It's a factory. But what kind of factory is it? I don't know if it's a, a Shotgun Messiah factory, if it's just a normal factory. It says level 5, so it must be really, really tough. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cross, cross the bridge right there. We're going to go do these quests, hand them in at the traders. And then hopefully with that coin, we should have enough to go into the wasteland of here. Because we can go for that treasure and find the Caitlyn trader. Now guys, we are very close to the thousandth episode of Seven Days to Die. As you guys know, my whole channel is dedicated just to this mod. And yeah, for a thousand episodes, then I've been playing this game. I think it's now on... Four, wait, no, it's now on 9, 8, or 9, 9 something. So it's in the 990s. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're almost on episode 1000, and then I'm going to be doing a, give a, a giveaway or something like that, just to celebrate it. But I think I might just do it like it's the 1000th episode of 7 Days that I giveaway. Deadline is as soon as I get 1000 subs, and then I uh, give the giveaway, or do the giveaway. So it's almost like a competition to get to 1000 subs, uh, to celebrate the 1000th video. And then by the time I hand out the giveaway or the prize, um, it's going to be to celebrate 1,000 episodes and 1,000 subs. But yeah, I'll, closer to the date, I'll actually just go into more detail with that. But for now, we need to get to this place. I just hope we have enough shotgun ammo. I didn't really actually check. Yeah, no, we should be enough. We should, with the coil rifle, it should be enough. But yeah, let's just hope we can actually do all these quests in this day. Especially with 40 minute days, we should be able to get a little bit more done. Oh, there's a bunker right here. That's an advanced uh, tech bunker right there. Where my head is right now. That's a bunker. Nice. If a well is standing like, uh, like that on its own, guys, without the building next to it, it's a future tech one. If it has a house next to it, it's just a normal bunker. Just a trick that you uh, can tell them apart. I didn't even notice that I was that close to a bunker. So I could technically go mine it right now. I just need enough ammo to just mine or just grind and grind and grind. Remember, there's a way to get in without alerting all the zombies. So if I can get in and not get all the um, soldiers to attack the loot, I can loot the loot, kill the soldiers, open the door, and let the rest of the place come to me. Um, I think they just respawn, respawn, respawn until I get the rest of the loot in there. Okay, so let's just go for this first one right there. Yeah, as that should actually be fine. As soon as we have the ammo for that, and it's not a horde day or horde night or close to it, remember, we don't want to waste ammo and then face a horde and then we don't have any ammo. But as soon as it gets close to that, we can actually then go and just farm the hell out of that future tech bunker. Because we'll get power cells and we'll get a ton of loot from all the behemoths and tough zombies spawning. But like I said, by then we need, just need more powerful weapons like an M60 or something with a really high damage per second. But there's actually quite a few bees over here. I just passed on in this one. Oh, this is a hospital first then. Okay, so this clear quest, I just hope it doesn't take too much of my ammo. I think the the marker for this... Oh, it's in front of here. I thought it might be at the back. Okay, let's just first clear out all the zombies over here. We don't want to deal with them and then the zombies inside. Whoa. Okay, I thought the swing got him, but it seems it didn't. Nice. Okay, so I just hope too many zombies don't follow me in while I'm inside. Because this is the big... This is a normal... Come on, this is just the normal one over here. Is that a bandit? That's a survivor, okay. Wait, no, it's not. What? Okay, you're going for a zombie. Phew. I hope so. Okay, we just need to activate this so it doesn't spawn more zombies. So this is a clear quest. We have to kill all these zombies in here, unfortunately. 
Let's just see what the frame rate is. As soon as that gets to low again, I'll do the GFX thing. Okay, let's just help him get in over here, if he'll give me a chance. Uh, oh, it's unlocked over here. Okay, so hopefully there aren't too many zombies and we just clear this place out and then... I don't think we're going to loot it right now, guys. I know I should be looting the whole thing. But we just want to kill all the zombies and get to the secret loot. We can't afford to spend too much time just looting basic stuff. If it's stuff like this, yes, I'll loot it. But just normal stuff, I'm not going to loot at all. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I can get recipes and stuff, but I mean... Going through all of this is just going to take too long. It's going to take the whole day. It's just a clear quest, nothing else. Okay, please tell me I didn't accidentally hit him. At least he's helping me over here, so that's a good thing. Okay, I just hit him. Didn't I? No, I didn't. Cool. And I just got another future schematic. Nice. Okay, so let's just do this. I don't want to switch to melee. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to switch to anything like this while there's zombies inbound. If I know there's no zombie, then I'll use it. Okay. No zombie. There should be a ton of demons in here, though. We need to watch out for them. Bullseye. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Okay, so it seems you're supposed to be going this direction. I just hope we clear out this whole place without getting lost. Okay, and then just let's hope we can kill all the demons before they vomit on us. I don't know if we had if we have any antibiotics on us. I don't think so. So at least this is a hospital. If I loot a few things, if I get infected, I should get what I need. <gasps> I'm getting power armor. Yes. Okay. And also, I have skill points. Let's just go into carry skill. I didn't want to waste points in this, guys, but we need to not be encumbered in here. This is so unfortunate. Okay. So we're just going to get all of those. Let's go. Why are you not waking up, dude? If I think something might have some awesome loot in it, I'll Come look on. into that. Okay, there's zombies up ahead. No zombies in the roof. That's weird. Usually they're up here. Okay, so I really wonder why that guy's not coming around. Oh, demons, 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 demons. I need to make sure I kill them before they heal themselves. Okay, so doesn't look like there's a ton of stuff in here. Okay, we're supposed to go into the roof, it seems. Let's just grab this. Okay, I want to see if there's anything else on this floor. I don't want any zombies surprising me later on. So that door goes to the same place. Ooh, see, it could be beneficial looting all the stuff, but... And there might be some secret loot up here, you never know. But actually, going up there is a waste of time. Okay, so let's just jump over here. That shows the zombies are still above us, which is a good thing. Okay, let's just hope this floor doesn't cave in. We need to really just blaze through this place. Ooh, hello. You almost vomited just now, which would be a really bad thing for me. Okay, we need to fall in, it seems. Um, any melee zo Any type of zombies over here? Okay, they're going to come through there, and there's also one over here, isn't there? I thought I just heard a zombie. Hello. I wonder, I wonder which way I'm supposed to be going. I don't want to go one way, and then I'm supposed to be going the other way. And also, guys, I'm so tempted to get gather all these resources here. This is Scrap Polymus first. Okay, reload. And boom. Damage per second, damage per second. Close the door. Oh crap, 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 crap. Come on, 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 come on. Reload, reload, reload. Please don't die, John. I need to drink some water and get out of here. Just reload, 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 reload. Okay, so we need to use this. And I don't have any water, do I? I do have water. Okay, whoa, 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 get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Please don't tell me there's another demon over here. The demon's still following me, I think. Not off to a great start. Not a great start at all. Where's that zombie? Oh, there's a few demons. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so, ooh. Guys, if I do not talk while I'm busy with this, you know why. <laughs> Damn, they're swarming me now. I think the zombies above me or beside me. Okay, so we came from this side. I think we're supposed to be going this direction. Let's just go check out what's over here. We need to heal as we go. So, I need to actually uh, keep the water on me as well over there. So, it's just easier to tell where everything is. 
Okay, those zombies are outside. That doesn't matter to me. That goes back up. We're not supposed to be going up. Okay, so we are supposed to be going this direction, but why is that zombie not coming for us? That actually bothers me now. Why is she stuck up there? Let's just do this. This. And this. We need to go into the roof quickly and see if there's anything up there. If there's more zombies that are asleep, at least this way we can tell them we can kill them as well. Okay, now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It doesn't seem like there's any more zombies on this side that we need to be killing. Um, I think we fell from over here. Okay, let's just do this. Oh no, no, we should be able to use this gun. We need to use the uh, normal pistol on the zombies as well. On the demon zombies. We need to stop them from healing before they heal. And I actually skipped past that part, so that was on me. Okay, this goes where? I was just here, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just pick all of this up. Kill these zombies over here. I think they're part of the quest. Nope, they might just be random zombies from outside. So the problem is we have to get through this place so fast because zombies from all over are coming now. And what makes this really tough is the fact that there are so many demon zombies now. And they're the real tough ones, so we need to really watch out for them. As soon as I feel we're a little bit overcumbered, we need to make some space. I just hope we get more of these pink notes. We need them. Yeah, where am I supposed to be going now? I'm not sure we're in the right place right now. Okay, so I'm quickly going to break this open and see if I can see their faces at least. Kill a few zombies over here. The, the more I kill from uh, uh, these po uh, vantage points, the less I have to worry about the zombies. Oh crap, that was steel. I should have actually just helped them break the brick over here because if this doesn't guarantee I'm going to be able to see them. Please, I need to clear this place before night time, otherwise it's really going to be tough. Yep, these are just normal random wandering zombies. Which is not good for me, I need to be going. Okay, so which way do we go? There needs to be a way out of here, I think, but I just don't know what paths I've followed and what I haven't. Okay, so, let's grab that. Let's keep going. I just need to find the staircase. I think this is uh, the staircase I was just at. I need to take that. Or I need to get into the roof over here. I'm not quite sure which one it is. So you can actually tell I don't do the hospital often. The fact that I don't know where to go in the hospital. I think we came from this direction, so it doesn't help me go... No, I didn't. Okay, this is a new area. Watch out for any demons up here. See, the problem with insanity zombies, you can't tell me insanity is the same as Nomad. I need to do way more damage to these zombies just to get stuff done. If this was Nomad, I'd be done already. I can just kill a few zombies, no problem at all. Okay, so I just kill you first. And then kill you over here. If I can get all their attention, like that, I should be able to fit through that gap over there and kill them, no problem at all. But let's just follow the proper steps and see if I can get to this place the right way. And there's just so many zombies waiting for me. And on that side, there's going to be a ton of vultures. So I hope there aren't too many demons waiting for me that side. Just watch the roof as well. If they fall in my head, it's over. Um, I should actually invest a few skill points in health. Just health and regen and all that stuff. Because if I can't heal myself, I'm going to be screwed. Oh, that's locked. Am I supposed to be going into the roof now, it seems? No. Nope. Okay, so we're supposed to be going through this door over here. Kill, kill. Kill. Close and reload. Remember, guys, make use of these doors. They're there for a reason. Any vultures over here? I could technically just fire my gun in the middle of the courtyard over here and see what happens. The vultures will come for me. It's locked. Zombies from upstairs, and there's a demon here somewhere. I don't know if he's up there or if he's down here. Let's see, if I open this door... Okay, so I need to be able to shoot him with this gun. Um, I'm gonna open up. Shotgun time. Now I can't heal himself. Just have to watch out for the zombies up top. They can easily fall in my head right now. As soon as we get encumbered, guys, we need to just stop and see what we can do. I need to go all the way around over here just to make sure we get all the zombies. Make sure there's no holes in the roof that zombies can fall through and then just keep going. See, now they're trying to break through over here as well. But I wonder where this leads. Am I supposed to be going this direction or not? You know what, let's just loot this. Just now there's something awesome in there we need. Man, it feels like this whole episode is just going to be dedicated to this one place. Okay, so we read this, read this. And then everything else we just need to scrap for now, I think. 
I just need to remember. Did I? Yeah, I think I brought my hazmat stuff with me. Didn't I? Now I can't scrap everything just in case I actually did. I think I did. So we're going to do this and this. And this. One, two, three, four, five. Damn, I should have actually left that on my bike because that's not in the way. Where the hell? More trying to break out over here. The more I can kill like this, the better for me. I just need to watch out that they don't hit me. If these guys hit me, they set me on lights and that just wastes a ton of time. Okay, so as long as I just kill all the zombies that come across, as soon as it shows that I can go talk to the trader, we know it's done. I don't know how long it's going to be until then. Oh, there's a demon right across the cross, uh, courtyard over there. And it's coming my way. You know what? Uh, let's do this. We're going to place a few spikes over here. Because they're going to break through over here now. We want them to come through these spikes to us. Nope, nope. Let's do... Okay, that's unlocked. I can actually do this from the side over here. Okay, so that was very hard getting the head, but we at least hit her in the head. Now, can I get out of here safely, or are there more demons coming? That's the only problem with blocking off the walls like this. You can't really tell where what is. Okay, you're feral, or... No, you're not even feral, but you're moving that quick. Okay, I can actually jump out of here. This is going to be easier for me now. I need to take care of these vultures before I can progress anywhere. There you go. How many more vultures? None? Okay, it doesn't seem like anything's coming down to Remember, the vultures also count. There's one above me. The vultures also count. As you can see, the red dot's moving, so it's this vulture over here. And since he's disappearing, I don't... Oh, whoa! Where did you come from? I was aiming at the one above me. Oh, that just gave me a fright. Okay, so we're supposed to be going... We just came from over there, right? So we need to go in over here, it seems. Okay, so this is where the zombies were that I killed, so we need to go in that direction, I think. Let's just make sure of here. Yep, nothing over there. We need to make sure we are reloaded, repaired, everything, so we are ready for the next zombies. Um, I need to check in, unfortunately. I need to open up all the doors and see there are no zombies hiding, because if there's one hiding, I'll have to look for that one zombie. And that can get really irritating really fast. Okay, let's eat, do this, make a little bit of space on us, and go. So we are getting quite a bit of power armor. It's a shame my bike is so far away. I want to be able to put my bike down. Or just go to my bike. So we went this direction, didn't we? Where are we right now? I'm so confused. No zombies. But yeah, my bike is too far away, guys. Unfortunately, if I go for it now, this quest is going to fail. After all we went through, this quest is going to fail. Okay, so we're supposed to go up. Let's just keep our ears open for more burning. Bullseye. And that one over there. I should do as much as possible stealth damage. But I don't think that's going to be possible all the time. Unfortunately, I haven't even modded this weapon yet, so it's not even powerful. If this was fully modded, I wouldn't have to worry at all. I mean, just look at that. There's a few shots I'm wasting on one zombie. Okay, so we are getting tokens and stuff. That is the... Not even the top floor yet. Man, this is going to take forever. Okay, zombies. Hello. Let's just do that. No fire over there. Let's do that. We can actually hide in there if we needed to, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Okay, so let's just help her over here quickly. Like so, and... Boom. Reload. Okay, so far so good. We just need to make a little bit more space, I think. We're going to be too encumbered. Man, it's a shame I didn't drop all that stuff downstairs. I wanted to sell all that as well, but I can't right now. I'm going to keep one stack of that just in case we need it later for the demonic essences and stuff. And let's go. I need to make sure I clear out this whole place before nighttime, guys. Because at nighttime, it's going to get a little bit more tough than this. This is still very easy compared to what it could be. Oh, there's a demon right there. Let's see if I can actually... Okay, so if I can stealth them like this, it's going to help me out a ton. Ooh, there's two demons over there. It's a shame that I didn't bring any of my contact grenades. Can I get whatever ones first? Did I just draw the attention of both or one? Come on, come around. Reload, reload, reload for the second one. 
I need to be able to kill them fast and also drink some water. Every time they hit me, they set me alight. Although that one didn't really set me alight that much. I'm kind of surprised. I'm actually happy, but also mostly surprised. Ooh, okay, so stand still, John. Because I'm going up and down stairs, it's really hard to hit these guys. At least they don't heal as fast as the demons, which gives me a little bit of an advantage over here. Yeah, we could always just hide up here on these pedestals over here. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be uh, really necessary. Usually when there's a ton of zombies, you can just hop up here and you're safe. But with demons that can vomit at you, that's not the best idea. Okay, let's see. Do that. Do this. And kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. There you go. Before I reload, let's just kill the rest of these. I just hope I don't make so much noise that the zombies from on top falls down on me. That's gonna... Oh, I don't have any shotgun anim, uh, ammo left. That is really bad. I wonder if I can put a few of the mods I have on my shotgun... ...on my... ...weapon over here. Okay, it seems it's supposed to be going this way. I just need to watch out for zombies falling on my head. But this says we need to go this direction. So I'm so confused right now. Let's just hope by the time I get out of here... ...we're safe. I could technically make one block in the wall and kill them like that if I run out of shotgun ammo. It just sucks that I'm running out of shotgun ammo. Are there, is that guy's actually up here with me? If you could actually help me, that would be awesome. Yeah, and I'm almost out of ammo. Four shots left. Just four. What's up here? Oh. I thought I heard a wolf or something groan or moan. Okay, this zombie is right there. Okay, so first off, this one, then this one. And this one. Okay, so we ran out of shotgun ammo. So let's just quickly close this door, see what I have on my shotgun over here. Yes, okay. So we could technically take this one off, this one off, and this, and this. I don't think the shotgun tube extender will help. And we can put that in here. That should do enough damage to the zombies now. To really actually kill them. And then just need to keep on making space as I go. So we have all the stuff up there that we need. We can actually scrap these. I hope we don't accidentally scrap one that I need. Like these doubles up there and I don't notice that. That's going to suck. we we'll just use that to heal up a little bit. Reload our gun. And now we should be ready. Okay, let's go. It's almost night time. The only problem is the zombies spawning in at night are feral. So they are going to be a little bit faster. Not that much of a challenge, but they're all going to be a little bit faster. Um, it's one demon. Where's that demon? On the other side of the wall, perhaps. Okay, we can do this. And we can do this. Come on, which side do you want to go? That's definitely more damage right there. Let's just close that, so if the demon comes through, it can't get us. Okay, now first, oof, this pistol. Then this gun. Remember, you first have to hit them with that laser pistol so they don't heal. Now the roof is going to be hectic, guys. Wait, which way? Oh, we're not supposed to be on that side yet, I think. We were first supposed to go this side. And then go around to that side. Okay. I just need to make sure we heal every now and then. Come on, I need you to get this vulture, thank you. I can't afford to waste all my ammo over here. We only have... Well, we have a thousand ammo, so... As long as I get a chance to reload every now and then, we should be fine. Okay, that was all the vultures. They're supposed to fall down here, it seems. And I just killed the zombies in there, so I think we should be safe. I think. Yeah, we killed all the zombies in this room. Okay, so... It is going a lot better than I expected, but it is night time, which means we're going to be struggling a little bit more. At least, guys, we do have our pistol over here. We have our quail rifle, which should help a ton. Uh, and as long as we have enough space over here, we shouldn't be in too much of a trouble right now. But still, whew, I am a little bit panicked right now. This is actually the furthest I've gotten so far. Clearing this whole hospital. And now we have enough notes for the future class. So that's going to be insanely helpful. It's just the same we don't have any junk turrets. The junk turrets would have helped an insane amount right now. Can I get this one? You know what, I wonder if I can do this. If I can get all of them with my pistol like this, it's just going to be so much of a big help. 
The only problem is going to be just killing the one without alerting the rest. For example, I could take her out or I could take that one out. But if I take that one out and this one hears me first, I have problems. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the coil. And now we should be able to kill this one, no problem. Okay, water please. Ooh, there's a demon somewhere. Is there a demon in there? I need to help them break down these doors first so I can actually kill the demons. Should there be any. There was a rocket that exploded somewhere, so there should be one more somewhere. Make sure these are empty. Um, do this. I just wish I could one-shot these blocks with my auger. I'm supposed to, but I think I screwed up a little bit. But there's still a... Yeah, there's definitely a demon still somewhere. I can hear the flames. I just need to watch, uh, make sure that they don't actually need to surprise me. Okay, so we're supposed to be going in here. We're supposed to be going through here and out the window. Ooh, it's on top of the roof. Okay, so if I can just use this pistol as a sniping weapon, guys, it's going to help us out a ton. And then hopefully I can kill all the vultures before they really notice me. I mean, that's what this gun is for, the vultures. And also stealth kills. Every time I see those red lights over there, I think it's an, a, a zombie or something I missed. Okay, please tell me that one didn't hear me. See, every time I miss a block. Yep, she heard me. Because I missed and I accidentally hit the floor, that zombie just heard me. So it was my own fault that she responded. Ooh, and there's another one. That one just fell down as well, which is bad for us. We need to go kill her. If we don't... Damn it. Um, I need to jump down here now. If I don't kill her, then it's going to tell me that I still need one zombie. Since she's part of this place. Okay, so we need to head upstairs. We just do this. And guys, it's, it feels like it's taking forever. The zombies down there isn't part of the, aren't part of this, so I need to make sure I only kill the essential zombies. Otherwise, that's just going to be a waste of time. So we came through here, right? This is all empty. Reload. Loot. Let's keep going. These locked doors, however, is really bothering me. I'm not sure if you're supposed to fall down or if you're supposed to stay up. Supposed to break the doors. It's not really clear. Hello, demon. Reload. Oh, hello. If that was a demon just now, we would have had a little bit of a problem. We'd be, we would have been on fire. Oh, there are dogs downstairs. I wonder if they're part of this pure eye or something new. Hello, hello. I think we were just on that side already. Yeah. Okay, so we just close this. We make sure that zombies and stuff can't get to us. That's all we need to make sure. No zombies on this side. They're coming from downstairs. So as long as I'm up here, I should be fine. Okay, we're supposed to go up the stairs. It just I want to clear out all the rooms because just now there's something out here waiting for us. Okay, so the end room is right. It's very close by, guys. We're very, very close to finishing this pure eye. The problem, of course, is going to be upstairs. It might just be a ton of demons and stuff. I should have really brought... Ooh, I can hear the fire to the uh, left of here. I should have brought a grenade or two. If I had some contact grenades, I would have been able to do this no problem at all. Just tuck a few at them and then I should be safe. If that zombie comes around the corner, I just need to duck into this room. There's secret loot in here. Ooh, gun store box. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Just need to make sure zombies don't come out of the woodwork all of a sudden. It's so easy for them just to show up now because of the staircases. But I didn't take care of any of the staircases. Okay, so. Oh, there's a few in there. And there are actually sol uh, soldiers. So, we're going to do this. Now, you know what? We're going to do this. Let's hope they don't go for the doors while I'm doing this. Okay, so if I can kill these. Man, there's a ton of them. Um, you know what? We have spikes. Let's just place a few of them in a straight line like this. So that if they come to help their friend over here, I can hopefully just take him out before them. Come on, come on, come on. I need to kill all of you before you come for me. And the soldier's going to be the tough one. If I can get the cop to explode, perhaps. Reload, 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 reload. And run, 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 run. 
Jump, 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 jump. Ooh, guys, the demon's gonna be a tough pot. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, how many more zombies? How many more zombies? Uh, this side is safe. They're starting to break in from over here. I just need to keep an eye on that room. Okay, see, if you, the cop actually helped me out a ton just now. If it wasn't for the cop, I might have taken way more damage. Any more zombies on this side? I think I'm supposed to be jumping through there, but I'm not quite sure. It seems you can go up as well. That might just be blocked off. I'm just going to open up this hole over here and we can see what kind of zombies are over here because we need to take care of them. They're going to be a problem later. Um... Any more zombies over here? It seems like there's a ward outside, so we need to watch the stairs. A whole ward could easily just come up now for us. Okay, it seems we have to uh, go outside over here. Doesn't seem like there's any way the other zombies can get us. I need to actually play some spikes as well. Just in case the uh, zombies get up the staircase towards me. Guys, that's really going to suck if I got this far and all of a sudden those zombies get to me just because of that. And the problem is obviously going to be the Screamer. The Screamer is always my issue. Okay, so we're supposed to be this side. This is unlocked. And they're coming for me. You can actually hear them come up the stairs. Wait, where's the staircase? If I can kill most of the zombies over here before they can get up to me, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so we need to keep uh, keep on going, keep on going. As soon as the screamers see me, I'm going to have an issue. So let's just see if we can quickly clear out these zombies. Now this is a race against time, guys, unfortunately. Okay, unfortunately, I just hope there's no demons. It's really going to suck if I get demons now while there's a screamer outside. That horde mustn't get to me until I finish this place. Let's hurry, let's hurry. Let's, I hope there's no way to the roof for them. If there's a way they can reach the roof, I'm going to have, have a little bit of a trouble. At least now, after I'm done, yeah, I can just drive away. Drive to safety. More zombies? Okay, let's just hope there's no cave-in floor, then I'm screwed. If there's a cave-in floor, I'm failing this. And you're a little bit faster than the rest. Come on. At least I'm getting way good loot right now. That's the bonus. But if I die, I'm going to have to come back for all this loot. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach my loot over here. Okay, so we're supposed to go up. Please tell me you're almost done. I need to be almost done. I can't face too many more zombies because I'm going to run out of ammo soon. This door is locked. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Let's just do this. I need to make sure all these rooms are closed. That seems to be the staircase. Let's just do this to make sure. Every time I have to break a block of this high quality, I'm wasting a ton of time. Oh yes, nice. What's this? Ammo pile lodge. Where am I right now? Oh yeah, that's cool. I just saved on a ton of loot. So we have to go up. They're definitely trying to break through the stairs, which is going to get me later. Any demons up here? Ooh, ammo piles though. So at least, uh, it's tough, but there's a ton of loot over here as well, so... Okay, so we're supposed to be going that direction, I think. Let's just make sure over here we have done everything on this side. I think... Yeah, the secret loot's right here. Um, I'm so encumbered right now. Let's do this. I need to make sure I'll be eat and drink and make a little bit of space and then we keep on going. At the moment, those zombies are going to catch up to us and they're going to be screwed. I'm just going to scrap all of these. I should be doing those quests as well, guys, but like I said, it's space and we need to move. And hello. Please don't tell me you're part of the downstairs group. If they're actually making it up all the way here, they're going to make it up soon, so we need to hurry, hurry, hurry. So we're supposed to close that door? Go back down? Yeah, we're almost at the roof. The roof is just there, guys. So finally, after all this effort, it's finally paying off. Now, the problem is really going to be the roof. Come on. That was definitely... Oh, there's a zombie downstairs, it seems. Please don't tell me there's too many zombies downstairs. We still have to kill one that's downstairs, according to the map. Unless it was just a vulture just now. Okay, so these zombies are inside there somewhere. We need to clear the roof before they get to us. The only problem... Oh, this is where we were. That room with the ammo pile. 
But guys, this is going to be the real issue. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't try this. If there's too many zombies on the roof, I'm going to try this like I did the last one. Like with the War 3 Zook mod. Oh, let's see how many demons are up here. Too many. Damn it, that's way too many. Um, Please don't die, Jean. Please don't die. I need to kill all of them for this to be successful. But it feels like this is going to take forever with the amount of zombies over here. Um, I just need to make as much space as possible so I'm not encumbered because this is going to be really tough. What I'm going to have to do is... I think the easiest way to do it because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven demons, right? We go down. And I'll show you guys what I'm going to do now. This is how I did the War 3 Zook one or the Where's UK. I keep saying War 3 Zook for some reason. This is how I did the, um, the Where's UK one and it actually worked out quite well. So what you do... Ooh, they're right above us. You actually just hop up over here. This way, uh, it actually helps you out a lot. Jump up over here, go in here. And as they fall down to you, you kill them. They just do this a little to help us out a little bit, so they can fall that side of the door as well. The more of them fall that side of the door, the better. Okay, so... Reload. Okay, we have the laser pistol over here, should we need it? Let's hope we can kill the normal ones first and then kill the demons. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, 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 reload. I oh, know I'm burning to death, guys. I'm gonna burn to death before anything happens over here. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, reload, reload. This is going to be tough. This is going to be close. Yes! Yes! Okay, there's one more. He's downstairs, it seems. I don't know how he got downstairs. But as long as we can quickly loot this place, we're done. Okay. It seems there's just one. It sh uh, shows the arrows down, so he fell downstairs somehow. If I can quickly go kill him, then this quest is done. The problem now is going to be the screamer. You know what? Let's just do this. But yeah, guys, the problem now is going to be the damn screamer because she screamed in so many of the random zombies that differentiating those from the one I need is going to be really tough now. Okay, so let's quickly loot all of this. Before I go down anywhere, I need to make sure that we're not encumbered. So, obviously now I'm looting a ton of stuff. We're encumbered again. Loot this. Ooh, okay, so now we're super encumbered. If we were to run into that uh, zombie now, we'd have a problem on our hands. What's behind you? I just don't know where that zombie is. Where could... I wonder if it's a demon? Or if it's just a normal zombie? Either way, it's going to be a tough time on our hands. Okay, so we need to make more space, more space. Let's scrap that. Let's just make sure all of this is reloaded and we have all our stuff where it needs to be. And repair. Guys, I am so shaking right now. Uh, the demon's still down. It's still downwards. Didn't tell me it fell too far down. It's still down. It's none of those, so it's still down. Loot this. Ooh, there's some steel right there. That's some good loot. Okay, so I'm going to scrap this and use this. Okay, now where's that zombie? It's still down. See, now the problem's going to be in the ward that got up here. It's still down, but the thing's blinking, so we're getting close. We're definitely getting close. We just need to kill all these zombies waiting for us over here. Hello. It was a demon. It was definitely a demon just now. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Oh, okay. They dug a little bit. This is going to make stuff way harder. Um, yeah, come to me. No, no, no. Where are you going? This is going to make it way harder, guys, because now they're falling down there. They have no way to get to me. I might as well just be able to do this then. It sounds like they're right next to me. I just need to quickly kill these zombies, man. Just that one left, and then the quest is done. Oh, where did you come from? So if you came from this direction, they're also coming from here. Wait, what? Okay, can I see you guys from over here? 
Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So if I can kill you guys from here, it's going to save me a ton of time. It says it still says clear area, so there's still a zombie over here left. It shows it's down, so we need to go, still go down. But I think all the demons are gone now. Ooh, that's a grenade. That there is a grenade. Can I pick it up? Nope, there's zombies in the way. Um, I'm, 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 what can I drop? Can I, can I drop? I'll drop the fort bites for now. And no, no, no. Oh, I just used steroids and accidentally. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, what the hell? No ways. One shot kill. Just because I accidentally took the steroids. No, man. Now I failed that quest. I've got a ton of stuff that I could at least sell, but I failed that quest now. That makes me so fuming right now. And we're at the wrong base. I forgot to put my lag down. Damn it! Now we're going to have to run all the way back to our new base. Because I don't have any vehicles over here. No bicycles, nothing. Damn! This was a massive blow just now. I'm going to have to quickly first go to my other base, grab a bicycle, then go back to the hospital, grab all my stuff. It's just... Oh. And I failed that quest now. I was one zombie away. One zombie away from finishing that quest. Man, behemoths are no joke. Especially his sanity. Because they, uh, that one was insane, that's why it packed too much of a punch. I wonder if I shouldn't just run straight to my bag and drop the rest of the stuff at my... I think that's going to be fastest. Okay, guys, I'm just going to call it episode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a ton of running now all the way back to my stuff, which is going to take uh, quite a bit. And then we need to do the rest of the quest in that area. Unfortunately, we failed this one, so we didn't get any of the coins and stuff for it. But we, like I said, we got a ton of stuff that I can now sell. So hopefully by the time I get there, those zombies are now gone because I cleared the place mostly. And I can just grab all the stuff. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, if you missed anything, what do you guys think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we hopefully get a better episode.